you and I, more than anything else in our life, need to know a holy God, a loving God, a powerful God. The more we know him, the more we become like him. And we've been looking over the past few months here on 86 Seconds and on the podcast that I do at the Gary Wilkerson Podcast, we have been looking at the attributes of God and it has been life transforming. And the one we've been looking at most recently is the holiness of God. And here's an illustration I think that could help us a little bit understand this beautiful thing called the holiness of God. It's like all of his attributes are like a flower garden. You see his love and his mercy and his grace and his wrath and his justice, all these things in his beautiful garden. Where Where's holiness in this? I would suggest to you that holiness is like the sunshine glowing, illuminating all the various attributes of God. That's why he's called the Holy Spirit or the Holy Father or, or, or the Holy uh, one of God, speaking of the Son, Christ Jesus, they're all called holy uh, because all of the attributes, they're holy. And when you put holiness, when you match it to all the other attributes, it glorifies that attributes. In other words, if you had love, but it wasn't holy love, it could be a corrupt love. It could be a selfish love. If you have the wrath of God without holiness, it could be a, a vengeful, um, less than wise type of wrath. But but the holiness makes it pure all of the attributes are glorified, are magnified, become more alive to us when we realize that's what a holy God is like. He's holy loving. He's holy gracious. He's holy to truth. He's holy wise. He's holy everything, everything he does. And when we're in his presence, we become more and more like him. I want to encourage you to get into his presence today.